Hello, welcome back. Right, what I've got for you today is today we're going to have a look at the Leshy tool. Okay, this is the one from ALS. It's the Yale 6B version 2. Um, they do have other ones. They have ones. The 6 is the other way up. So if you pick and do on the other side, I do have it somewhere. Um, is this it here? Yep, so here's the 6. There's the 6 and the 6B, so you can see the orientations for the other side. Okay, exactly the same tool, just the other side. Okay, and they do the 5B and the 5, which goes the 5 pins. All right, what we're going to do is I'm going to be using the 6B, and what I've got is a British Standard Yale. Can't marked. Stick it in my lovely cylinder holder. I'll go for the side view so you can see it in action. Right, there we go. Let's see what we can do. We really want to see this. Can I zoom it in a bit? Yeah. Okay, hopefully that will help. See if I can get to track it there. Right, start number one. Oh, got a click and then it went to nothingness. There you go, click. Two. Rigid. So I'll get a click. I'm just taking the pressure off, see so it'll push up. Pushed up and released. I'll leave that one for now. Three. Four. I've got a click on four, five, six. That one go. Oh, give me something. Six, five, four. Four click again. Three, two, one. Oh, got a counter rotation now. Sorry, not a counter rotation. A slight rotation. The counter rotation is when you hit the pin and it goes back the opposite way, which will not get anything on there. So what I'm doing is I'm taking the pressure off on my thumb just see if it kicks back. There you've got a counter rotation there. So I'll go back to one. Two, nothing. Three. Yep, yeah, there we go. Done. Okay, full rotation, right. What else will it do? I mean it says yeah on it. Oh, just because it says yellow on it doesn't mean to say it's not going to do anything else. So what I've got for you here is a uh, Euro spec six pin. Here's the key. Nothing special. Nothing amazing. Okay, let's put it on the device. Loosen up the little clamp. I do like this clamp. All right. Let's get the leashy back in again. Go for number one, nothing, two, nothing, three, oh, maybe, nope, so I'll start again because I overset three, one, two, three, four, five, got a click on five, six, nothing, uh, one, Two, three, four, five. Mm, got a click, but I've got a feeling I've overset it. We'll soon find out. One's gone tight. Ah, got a slight rotation of one, two, even bigger rotation, three. Okay, four. I get it's number four. It's a bit hard to tell. Let's go back to one, two, three. Might be on four. Let's see. Got something there. Let's go back to one, two, three, four, five. Uh, this is like, look, it's 
madness. Can't find anything. That rotation is pretty deep. Let's try one too. That maybe might be two. Yes, it was two. So obviously it was only pick. Right. See it run all the way around. It's because it's not really designed for this lock. But it picks it. So once it's done that, you get stuck upside down like that. Get your pick in, and you just push the pins down and it'll turn. Okay. So you just turn it around all the way. And your lock's open. Okay. So that is the Eurospec. And what else have we got? We've got a big hairs one star. Now I'm sure all these have got a well I know this one has got a zero lift pin. That's where the Lishy picks can come into bit into their own with the zero lift because when you try and single pin pick um trying to not touch that pin that's not supposed to be touched can be quite difficult sometimes um where in the field the Lishy does a job because it's easy to just skip past it. Now I know on this lock it's number four so I'm not going to touch number four. So we go one, two, three, got to click, not touching four, five, six, got to click, go back to one, got to click, two, slight click, three, that's five, got to click on five, six, back to one, got a slight rotation, number two, getting counter rotation, just got to be really careful when you get that counter rotation when you're lifting it, so one, two, it's sort of gripped it, Five, six. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to counter, keep pressure here, so I'm actually pushing into my skin, pushing it deeper. So here we click. There, I've got a click. So now I'm going to carry on picking again. So ah, there you go, done. Okay, now that's how I reset an over an overset pin. I literally just keep pressure there and turn this basically against my thumb okay until I hit one little click boom done anyway that's a review on the ALS Lishy does a job great for zero lift pins as you can see I didn't touch number four popped it straight open um, single pin picking can be a bit tricky sometimes anyway that's all I've got for you cheers thanks for watching